Hi, welcome to Drone Adventures. Please remember to comment and like the video. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers um, before the end of 2020. Um, I'm filming this on a DJI Mobile 3, so as I move, it will move, which I think is cool. Um, there's a link down below if you want to buy it on the DJI website, it's an affiliate link. It's a miserable weekend outside, so I thought I'd show you how I find places uh, to have my drone adventures and some of the um, investigations that I do beforehand. Uh, first of all, I like to have my drone adventures um, somewhere that I find interesting. Uh, what I find interesting, you might not find interesting. Um, I love all different places, massive buildings, something that hopefully gives pictures and videos something of interest focus. Now that's enough for the word interesting. Um, to find places, I look on TV. Um, I belong to lots of drone groups and look what other people have done. Uh, I also belong to Facebook history groups and I can see what other people like that do. I belong to photographic groups or groups who are on Facebook. I can see where people have been and where they take photographs. So there's lots of ideas. I generally also look out for interesting things uh, whilst out and about on my bicycle or in the car. Uh, quite often I might see a, um, a water tower in the distance so I'll yeah, drive to it and have a look at it and potentially have a drone adventure. I hope this camera that follows me. Sorry. Um, we've also I'm filming this using my uh, DJI Mobile 3. I'll do a. Uh, it's really cool because it, it's following me around, which I think is fantastic. If you're on your own uh, and doing videos, then well, let's see if it's any good. Um, I'll do a review of it at some standard stage in the future. <laughs> we're, we're also really lucky to have Google Maps or Big Maps if you're a bit weird. Um, the place I'm going to have a look at, I haven't had a drone adventure at, I'm going to do some investigation. I saw a programme on TV, it was a news article, uh, about uh, Benley Viaduct. Uh, it's an old disused viaduct built in 1876. Um, it was built using iron because it was lighter than um, stone. Stone was too heavy because there's a lot of mining in the area and so there might be subsidence. Um, the first thing I do is have a look at the Nat, Nats app because that will be a, a killer to any drone adventure if there's any no fly drones. So I'll have a look at how to do that. Um, once we've done that, we'll jump into the computer and have a look at some of the investigations that I do. What I'll do is I'll go in Drone Assist app and it finds out where I am. What I tend to do, I zoom in. Otherwise it's hard to find where you want to find. Uh, I'll do a search. And I happen to know that this place in there somewhere... Orsworth. Alls Orsworth. Click on that. Search. It will find it. If I zoom in here. Uh, somewhere around here. But I know there's a railway track. Here we are, there's a railway track here. Let's zoom in a bit further. Ben Levide, there we go. And if I zoom all the way in. Uh, it says on the top, follow drone code. So there's no kind of uh, problems. Line there. I'll check on the day in case there's anything else. Um, that's what I do. The reason it's gone to caution when I zoomed out is because it's a, um, gone into a bigger area. Okay, on the computer, what we'll do um, is search for Bentley Viaduct. Uh, obviously, we can do your, your own research. Wikipedia is brilliant. Uh, what I quite like doing sometimes is look at images of the viaduct, see what other people have taken. Uh, see if I can get any inspiration. That's that looks like a cool picture. Whoever taken took, took that one it looks to be a wind turbine behind there. Uh, not sure whether when I go there we'll have good conditions like that with the sun behind. Probably not. Um, 
but yeah, really good to have a look at that. I like, quite like having a look at the history. Uh, but mainly, um, I click on the maps icon. So we have Benley Viaduct here, uh, and then press satellite image. So we can actually have a look at it, and you can see there's a, a live railway track there. So we need to be careful of that. Um, there's some roads around, which is good, because it means I can get my car there. There might be a parking spot maybe there. Um, Let's have a look. What I tend to do, uh, general look, doesn't look like a built up area. Um, what I really like with Google Maps um, is if you right click and then press measure distance, uh, you can I think it's your ruler. So if I do 150 meters, which is the uh, distance you've got to be away from a built up area, you can see I'm well under 150 meters from any house or anything like that uh, I'm about the left hand side of the viaduct about 150 meters away from the uh, railway line uh, technically you can overfly railway lines you have to keep at least 50 meters away from a live railway line so 50 meters as long as I keep to the right of these trees I should be fine um, or certainly well above the height of 50 meters uh, and again should be fine but I'll just keep to the right of it. <clears throat> what I'll have a look at now is I'm wondering whether this is somewhere I can park so what I do I grab my little man uh, bring him into street view let me just have a look at that there have a look around ah there's the viaduct it's beautiful you can see the wind turbine behind it um, Oh, looks good. Looks like there's a public footpath here, which is even better. Let's have a walk down the road. And here, ah, that looks like a good parking spot and probably leads into the public footpath. Let's see when and if we get there. Um, looks good. Looks like a good place to uh, go for a drone adventure. Let me just check one more thing. If I'm setting off from this public footpath here, what I want to do is just measure the distance again. Right click, measure distance to there, and that's 421 meters, um, which is fine. I'll need to keep my drone in line of sight, which is generally known as 500 meters. So that means I'll be able to just pass um, the viaduct and still keep it within visual line of sight. So that's. Um, Looks perfect, let's have a drone adventure.